She's only 24, but Hayley Steinfeld has already enjoyed an amazing career. She was nominated for an Oscar when she was just 13 and went on to star in Pitch Perfect 2 and 3 and the Transformers spin-off Bumblebee. Add in a successful singing career and you have to ask, is there anything she can't do? Right now, she's starring as American poet Emily Dickinson in the hip TV series Dickinson, a comedy drama about a young writer who doesn't fit in to the era into which she was born. I spoke to Hayley about the show and also managed to get her to spill some tea on her new role as Hawkeye in the Marvel Universe. I always love your poems, but I can't be your only reader anymore. You need to share your writing with the world. There's someone that I need you to meet. Sam Bowles. This could be the man to put you in the spotlight. I'm always interested in hearing a new voice. What if I don't want fame? How do you want to be remembered? It's so exciting to have season two of Dickinson happening. And this season, we're going to be talking a bit about fame because of a wonderful mm. poem that, uh, that Emily wrote, the first lines, fame is a fickle food upon a shifting plate. She wrote about fame back in the 1800s, still a big thing today, and we're going to see it in this series. That's right. We, we do dig into the idea of, of fame and attention and this outbreak of technology and celebrity culture that they were experiencing uh, during that time, as, like you mentioned, we are still today. And we watched Emily go on this journey of trying to find um, answers to a new set of questions this time around, uh, being what is what is fame? What does it mean? Do I really want it? Um, once I have it, am I able to decide if I don't want it? Can I get rid of it? You know, can I decide how much of it I want? Um, and she realizes the harsh reality of the answers to some of those questions. And um, it's a it's a big <laughs> struggle. Part of me is pretty sure that fame isn't good for me. In fact, I think it could be very dangerous. You were nominated for an Oscar for True Grit at such a young age. You were 13 years old, I suppose, when life exploded for you. Uh, so you have had an interesting relationship with fame. At this point in time now, what do you think is the best thing about it and what's the worst thing about it? Who? I don't know. I think the, the best thing... Maybe I'll start with the worst thing. And I don't really think this is all, I mean, I think it's part of the territory and I've accepted that and it's never been an issue for me, thankfully. But I think that there is a side to it where, you know, your privacy becomes less about your own <laughs> privacy um, and more about other people's business when, when it's not or when you don't intend for it to be and you kind of don't have much control over that. That's um, not great, but it is what it is. The best part, I don't know, I think I, I just feel so grateful that I have a platform and people listen to to me and to my music and they watch my movies and, and they, they do care and um, I'm so grateful for those that have been supportive of me throughout my career and um, yeah, forever grateful for that. You deserve to be seen, Emily. You really are a poet. This uh, series, Dickinson, is it's written by a woman, directed by a woman, uh, stars a woman. It, it's a great female production. That must feel pretty special to be involved in from that aspect as well. Oh, um, amazing. The world of Dickinson wouldn't exist without that um, and without diversity. And this is a story that, you know, is about acceptance and fighting for what you believe is right and standing up for yourself and what you believe in. And that has to be created by, by people that, that feel that way. And, you know, the world of Dickinson is a very accepting space and a space of freedom and creativity. So I feel very lucky to be a part of a world that, that is just that. Only you would show up at a party looking like a wreck. I'm not here for the party. Come on, I need to know. Emily. What did you think of my poems? Tell me. I loved them. People have been watching through the season um, the relationship between Emily and Sue Gilbert. Uh, is the Emmy, Emmy Sue hashtag going to be trending again this season? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, a lot goes down between the two of them. Um, and it's as complicated and beautiful and chaotic as ever. And they are two characters that are in very different places at the start of the season than where we left them and they end up in a space that I don't know we expect necessarily, but I do think that they are the best versions of themselves and they're who they're meant to be when they are together, which is a really beautiful thing.
You're about to take on another powerful female character, Kate Bishop or Hawkeye. Uh, can you let us in on any secrets about that? Ah, uh, any secrets? Um, I just, I can tell you I'm very excited that it is no longer a secret. Um, and I can talk about how honored I am to be a part of this project um, and a part of developing this character that is yet another special one that I am very honored to be playing. Hayley, it's always great to chat to you. Congratulations you on season two of Dickinson. We've got our fingers crossed for season three, I think. Thank you. Yes, that's right. Three, two, one. Good evening. I'm Emily Dickinson. This is it. You ready? Well, I hope so. She is amazing. And season two of Dickinson is streaming now on Apple TV.